In this session, we will discuss the working of the module Fleet Rendel in Order 14. So basically this module is an application for vehicle rental system which helps in managing the rental of vehicles like car, van, etc. And uh, <coughs> it manages the fleet uh, or vehicle property by extending the basic fleet module uh, provided by Odo. And currently fleet module does not have any connection with the accounting module but in this module we have integrated uh, it with accounting also <coughs> so let us see its features one by one so first in fleet rental we have the rental contract inside the rental management here we can create contracts for our rentals so this is the form for creating a new contract here you can see we can add the customer name followed by the rent start date it will be automatically collected as the current date and the rent end date can be mentioned here and when we choose the vehicle from here you can see the vehicle's logo and the property coming automatically and here you can see the recurring cost for the vehicle uh, we can set it as daily or weekly or monthly uh, so our convenient and here we can set the recurring amount and the salesperson who made this rental contract will be listed here recurring invoices and also the checklist here inside the checklist if, uh, it's an option to add the uh, accessories or facilities of a vehicle which we provide in contract here if new we can add a new uh, accessory as music player and we have ticked the checkbox as it's available and we can see the price of the we can set the price here and here you have got an attachments field to add the photo of the or any other documents regarding this contract and here we can mention a uh, details or remarks for this contract and here after each intervals of this we can set the uh, we can see the invoices automatically coming and the first payment will be recorded uh, can be set here uh, if you are making any initial payments we can record it here and i'm saving this contract and i'm confirming this and now we can see the particular vehicle is in the reserved state uh, and when I click the run it will be changed to the running state and inside the uh, checklist if you see you can uh, look you can see that uh, the rent which we made here is listed here and also here you can see the accessories and tools of our vehicles we can if needed we can create new accessories here and we can add the price here of that particular accessory and next inside the vehicles we can see the current uh, status of our vehicles the recent one which we created is in the rent state and if needed we can create new vehicles from here by filling all the details you can uh, create a new vehicle so that it can be um, reserved or can be set for a renting and here in the list view you can see all the details of the vehicle whether it's in uh, registered state on the run state or downgraded and here you can see all the basic details re with uh, regarding the work, driver and vehicles and in the contracts we can see the contract details which we created we have a kanban view for that and here the services we can create new services from here here we can add description and we can set the service type whether it is uh, repair maintenance or depreciation interest we can select the convenient uh, service type and we can set the cost for that particular service the automated value uh, say can be set here that is uh, once if i'm um, making a service for my vehicle and uh, at that time we can enter the automated value so that there will not be any further confusions once the service is done 
and next uh, we can see the odometer inside which we can see the uh, running value of each vehicles inside the reporting we can get see an analysis of the cost um, we have different measures here and similarly fleet rental analysis inside the configuration we can have uh, the manufacturers different manufacturers of our vehicles we can create new manufacturers from here and we can see the vehicle models for each manufacturers we can see different models of the vehicles they provide and the service types uh, different service types can be listed here seen here and if we can create new service type from here also and vehicle status we can see different status here uh, if needed we can create new status so that we, we can set the status for vehicles uh, in different stages and vehicle tax and activity types inside the settings we can see uh, we can set an alert date uh, on which we, we can send an alert uh, um, regarding the uh, rental management fleet uh, rent uh, so this is basically the working of the module fleet rental if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odoatsyprocess.com